Throughout the Kitsap community are many paths of opportunity for work, for play, for family, and for success. Unfortunately, some of our neighbors are left behind on the journey to a happy life. They may be held back by a tough economy, detoured by bad choices, or knocked down by personal calamity. We can ignore their difficulties or even cast blame, or we can reach out with compassion. United Way of Kitsap County has been at the heart of the community for 75 years, and we rally the forces of compassion. Compassion is about providing and helping our neighbors in crisis by helping them get back to stability, and that's providing the very basic of human needs, which are food, a home, and a safe environment. Stability is the first step in getting back on the journey of life. Compassion is about walking alongside others who are struggling, to educate and encourage them back onto the pathway of success, and to help them discover the well of their own resourcefulness. And compassion is about providing tools and resources to our friends in the community to help them become successful. United Way, we rally the forces of compassion. United Way of Kitsap provides over $600,000 each year in strategically targeted support for families living on the edge in Kitsap County. All of the funds raised by United Way of Kitsap County stay in Kitsap County, reaching out to those in need through a powerful network of nonprofit agencies, what we call the Forces of Compassion. Healthcare professionals today know better than ever that early dental care for children can not only greatly reduce the likelihood of a myriad of dental problems later in life, but can also significantly reduce the chances of an individual experiencing a whole range of diseases that affect their overall health. The ABC program takes care of children who are basically five and below who are Medicaid eligible. Um, if oral health care is not being cared for, infections can occur, um, significant hospitalizations can occur. So the idea of the program is that if you start at age one with good oral health, um, that pattern of good oral health at age one will continue on to, to adulthood with good oral health um, throughout their lifetime, which is good for, the, for them and for the, for the community. Violence in the home shatters family stability and destroys lives for both the victims and the perpetrators. The YWCA is a powerful force of compassion in combating domestic violence in our county. Clients often are coming to us at the YWCA in, at a time of, of intense crisis. Um, they may be having to um, escape for their lives and they're coming to us to utilize our YWCA Alive Shelter. So when I first came to the Y, I, I didn't realize that this abuse that I've been carrying my whole life started when I was five. So I never got to know what a normal relationship was. I'd want to stay in bed, and he'd drag me out physically. And as soon as it got rough, mental or physical, I, my bags were already packed. They've been packed since I was in my 20s. I would want to just run away somewhere and cry under a tree where nobody could see me. Domestic violence destroys lives in, in just any number of ways. Uh, first of all, we have to look at our children. Um, it becomes a a behavior that many of them see as normal. Um, they're also coming to us a lot of times for um, needed, very much needed resources, which we can help them with things like our clothing closet. And the YWCA exists um, to not only provide those resources, but also to say no to our community. No, we, it, it is not acceptable. The YWCA has taught me the skills to be a conqueror of, of, of many things that I never thought I could be. I'm free. And finally, a compassionate community knows that the very basic commodities of food and shelter, things that we all too easily take for granted, can be the most desperate need for families that are stretched to the breaking point. When folks come to Fish Line, they generally are in some sort of economic crisis whether they're unable to pay their necessary bills to keep their home or to keep the lights or the heat on, or they may not have enough at the end of the month to take care of their family by providing food. For food help, we have a wonderful market that's been established, kind of like, modeled like a, uh, like a grocery store. 
So we provide every kind of food group that's available in the store. We also provide grocery delivery for homebound clients, generally senior citizens. We have a Food for Thought weekend meal program for low-income children who need help on the weekends even though they receive free meal during the school week. There is a serious shortage of low-cost housing for low-income families. We do have some subsidized housing here in the North End, but the wait to get into those apartments are generally somewhere between six months and three years. North Kitsap Fish Line helps those in crisis find emergency housing and shelter, but more importantly, helps prevent individuals from losing their homes through mortgage and rent assistance, energy assistance, and innovative plans like home share. When I visit with members of the community, I hear stories all the time of people who have said, I came to your facility and I got help and I'm so grateful and now things are better for me. United Way partner agencies work with dedication and collaboration to help hundreds of individuals and families overcome hardship and get back on course each year. Won't you lend your support as we rally the forces of compassion for Kitsap County? Ultimately, we think that compassion is built when you've been through a crisis yourself, you've, you've survived it and now you thrive and you realize that it could happen to anyone. And that is the truth of our world. The folks that come through our doors are us and our best volunteers, our best staff members, our best donors are those who have been through something like this in the past. It's wonderful to see that circle, to see how people take their turns in difficult times, but they also take their turns in being able to, to help somebody else. Should people give money to the United Way? Gosh, yeah, people should give money to the United Way. People should give money to uh, an organization that helps to build other organizations. It's as simple as that. We can offer stability to help get our folks back on their feet. We can offer guidance to get them back on the right path. We can offer them resources to help them finish the race. We can do more United than we ever can alone. Please support United Way of Kitsap County at the heart of the community for over 75 years. <laughs>